Welcome to the press box here at Yankee Stadium, just one day before the pinstripe bowl between Syracuse and West Virginia, alongside Z89's Dan Cohen and Bill Spaulding from WAER. We'll take a quick look at the events that have unfolded today, right before the game. And first off, it was the coach's press conference. For the first time, we saw Doug Marone and Dana Holgerson next to each other. And what did you come away thinking about it? Well, it's been the theme all week. Syracuse has been business as, business as normal, walking around in suits for all their events, even though Coach Marone was in his win breaker from the walkthrough today. He was business as normal. He had a very serious look on his face and Coach Holgerson, even though he was in a full suit, very laid back and that's how West Virginia's kind of approached this week leading up to the game. Yeah, well outside of learning that wide receiver Stedman Bailey's had some stomach issues throughout the week for West Virginia and we'll see how that uh, affects the game tomorrow. I think the biggest takeaway just comes from both coaches saying that they, they aren't all that concerned about, oh it's a bowl game, it's an exhibition, it's for fun. At the end of the day, it's about getting a win. Coach Marone said he doesn't plan this game any differently at all. Coach Holgerson maybe left a little more room for uh, for interpretation there. He said that, you know, you, you had a nice vacation, but still now it's game time. You get ready for game time. Syracuse plays in the Carrier Dome, so for at least half of its game, weather isn't an issue. This would not be one of those games. About one to three, maybe even four inches we heard predicted for tomorrow. How does that change this game plan? Well, it seemed like the coaches really thought it didn't change anything at all. Coach Marone has said all along, we practice in the weather, we're used to this weather, and for Syracuse, it might actually play to their advantage because the Orange has started to really run the ball a lot over the last six games of the season actually running more than they are passing. Meanwhile, West Virginia is the definition of an air raid passing team. They're going to throw the ball around, but Coach Holgerson said the snow is fine. If it's windy, that's where he get a little bit concerned. And the winds have been whipping here in New York City as of late, so if the wind plays a factor here at Yankee Stadium, depending on where it comes from, that could play into how Geno Smith performs today, but like you said, Syracuse running the ball with Jerome Smith and Prince Tyson Gully. They've been very successful over the last two weeks, and even though that tank element for Syracuse won't be there with Adonis Amin more out for this game. Jerome Smith and Prince Tyson Gully could still have a strong game if there's snow on the ground. That's the offense, but these defenders have been sitting on this offensive talk all week. Both high-powered offenses, video game stats people brought up, but what? how does defense change the pinstripe ball this year? Well, for Syracuse, we know they love to bring the pressure with that Oki package up front. We're going to see a lot of Brandon Sharp and Marcus Pierce Brewster coming off the edge for Syracuse, and even the linebackers too. Dyshawn Davis has had a strong year, and in the defensive backfield, you're going to see a lot of those guys dropping back into coverage and let that front seven take care of the rest. And for Syracuse, that's been a success the last few weeks. They put a lot of pressure on teams like Mizzou and USF and Temple, and they've had success there in that end of the football field. So for Syracuse, that's going to be the element for them is they're going to bring the pressure and rattle Geno Smith. I think, honestly, for both these defenses, what the big difference will be and what could allow them to have some success is just the intensity. I mean, these guys have had to sit on three or four weeks since the bowl game was announced of, oh, it's going to be such a high-scoring game, a shootout, first one to 50 wins. You know what? That fires you up, especially if you're 18 to 20 two years old. I've talked to players on both sides this week and they said they've kind of taken that as a challenge to show, hey, us defenses can play as well. And Coach Marone told me today that not only are the players talking about it, he said he personally challenged the defense by saying, hey, everyone's saying, I wouldn't want to play defense in this game. We'll show them why you want to play defense in this game. He's WAER's Bill Spaulding and Z89's Dan Cohen. Be sure to keep checking in with Citrus TV on sportsblog.citrustv.net. Also be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Citrus TV Sports.